Hello everyone, Attack Power here with Game 1 between Luna and Xena in the July monthly tournament. Let's dive right in here to Orsha East and on the left in the red we have Luna playing 6th Airborne on V4 Victory. And on the right in the blue we have Xena Zhang on 4th Munta on Maverick Income. So two very interesting divisions. We know Luna loves to play divisions that are not really meta and I don't know Xena. Never, uh, Xena, or however you say it. Uh, I've never seen this guy, but let's dive into these decks here. Luna first on the left with the sixth Airborne. Uh, this division is about to get a massive buff in the new DLC, but, but besides that, Recon Tap, very strong. Tons of slots, tons of things to put in there. You get Snipers, Pathfinders, Little Johns, lots of those, and those are pretty phenomenal Recon cars. Your Infantry Tab, I mean, these two tabs are really like the highlight of the division. Um, your Infantry are pretty fantastic overall they're a little inefficient uh they're, they're you know they can definitely be uh, a little expensive for what you get at times but they're about to get 100 billion snipers so they're going to get way way better uh but you get the ab paras the oxen bucks of course the canadian paras um and the grenadier voltigeers all really strong infantry overall your tank tab lacking but honestly it performs pretty well for what it lacks it's got cromwell's challengers and sea phase only and then you get the little tetrarchs which uh, for 25 points can perform really quite well the support tab not amazing but also not terrible because you do get centaur fours which are give, do give you some 2k range stuff which is really important your at tab definitely a bit lacking but you do have 17 pounders so 17 pounders can solve a lot of problems generally speaking the six pounders can be quite underwhelming aa uh, is pretty not great although i don't remember what else is in this tab it's an expensive tab just overall and he only has the tripulse in tier and a so definitely playing really light on the air force on the uh, AA, excuse me arty tab okay not amazing a lot of light stuff uh you do get the the howitzers which are actually pretty good uh the off map is pretty strong as well but off map is gross so we don't like to count that and then your air tab it's pretty phenomenal just full of tempest and typhoon mosquitoes i mean just the 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 entire gaggle of incredible commonwealth airplanes on the other side here fourth munta a division i try so hard to love because it's romanian and i just i always feel like it's, it's weaknesses, its strengths do not make up for its weaknesses. Its big weakness is really that there's no vehicles in A phase, any vehicles that really matter, I should say. Uh, that, that's really like the biggest weakness. Your recon tab, probably one of the best ones in the game with double snipers. Uh, your infantry tab, really quite solid overall. Not like a phenomenally powerful infantry tab, but definitely very strong. Uh, your tank tab, basically just Panzer IVs. Your support tab, very lacking without the 2k HE. Your AT tab, pretty great mix of light and medium AT to work with. Your air AA tab, pretty solid with mobile wagons, uh, but the 20 mils are pretty bad. Your RD tab is phenomenal with the 100 millimeter Romanian guns, some of the best RD pieces in the game in 60 mil mortars. And finally, a pretty strong air tab with a whole bunch of JRS bombers and such. So the game is underway here. We'll see can Luna survive with his V for victory versus the Maverick. That is an 80 point difference per tick, 800 points overall in B phase. He will have a 20 point advantage in A, but it's it's pretty overwhelming. Luna starting off though in a solid 1410. Of course, this blue side of Orcha East a little bit tougher to, because it's so easy to get pushed off at the start here. There's that Vinatori Chachatade. Uh, with the double sniper these things are absolutely disgusting being a five-man team as well they don't actually die very easily unlike the taka and poya of the finish which can die pretty easily you also get the venatori pianiti which are a great uh pioneer squad here with three 150 millimeter uh not millimeter 150 meter range some machine guns along with their usual loadout can be a really solid uh cqc unit venatori de munta basically a panzergren Basically a Panzer Grenadier MG34. It does get a, a Panzer Shrek though, which is nice, of course. Fourth Munta, definitely a lot of good solid CQC. You get the Denanuti, which I do not see here. I think he put them in B phase. He did B and C phase. So he's definitely planning Xena planning to go long. He's got two C phase cards for a Maverick deck. Seems shocking to me. And he's only got two B phase cards. Seems really weird to me. But here comes the piles of oxen bucks and pathfinders. Oxen, oxen bucks with their grenades, two Bren guns. I think the Pianetti lose this fight pretty definitively, especially with these all being triple star. The single starness of them are not going to be able to win. And Luna definitely on the strong side here with his triple star. Great use of leadership as always. Uh, but uh, Xena here capturing this flag, negating some of his loss here in the center. 
Do you see the two inch carrier throwing down some light support there? Right about to go down though to the sniper, I believe. Double Venatori though, with its double sniper doing the work. IAR cannot get through that tri -Polston. Yeah, that double sniper is just so much. So good. 75 mil trying to take out the Centaur. This is 2K, right? Yes, it is. Tempest coming after that IR. These things are so fast. Heavy loadout of 420 mils. This thing puts out the damage. It's extremely fast and has medium resilience. One of the strongest planes in the game. For its cost, though, it is expensive. It is it is very expensive. Vin uh, Vinatori Pianidi Assault here. Holding off, but the Tempest getting a nice strafe in there. Pianidi just missed their grenade. Luna all over that micro. The leader did die here, so definitely some misplay by Xena for sure. 13-10 now for Xena. Pretty bad for Luna, considering he really has got to take advantage here at the beginning. But his, his use of veterancy is going to start to show dividends as we go. The R-35 is rolling up on the hill. This is the only armor along with the AT unit in the AT tab that you get to use. The 2-inch carrier goes down. Tetrarch takes one of the R-35s out. Can the R-35 even kill this thing? It can. Who will die for what garbage tank will die first? The R-35 is losing definitively right now. Do you get the penetration? Tetrarch fires extremely fast at 15 rounds a minute, but it bounces. And the R-35 takes it down, but goes down itself. Still some big kills there for a 15-point tank. Tempest doing an amazing strafe run there again. Uh, fourth Munta only with the 20 mils in A phase, so he's going to have a hard time stopping this Tempest. His fighter has absolutely no chance against that. But he has started to win down south. The CQC power of Fourth Munta overwhelming right now. Minotauri Assault in a bad spot, though. 20 mils need to be unloaded. We're seeing Xena with uh, some Miss Micro here, and you cannot Miss Micro against Luna. The dude is too good. He trades too well to be messing up Micros. Infantry overwhelming the Infantaristi. That goes down. The Tempest just did so much damage. Killed that uh, Venatori Chichitata. Tempest coming all the way around for a hit on the Venatori Dakata down south, but that is falling back this time. Peony the Assault, all piled up in the center of this forest here. 20 mil, actually starting to scratch the paint on the Tempest a little bit there. IR going after the Tempest, perhaps? It's not going to get by the Tripolston, though. This is a good AA piece. It definitely does some nice work. Luna able to recapture this flag here. Five minutes left in A phase. R35 here, just picking on some infantry, but we'll go down here momentarily. The Oxen Bucks and Pairs then will be able to kill off the Breda, and this whole area will kind of collapse for Gina. Really needs to throw some reinforcements there. IR looks like it bombed the AB Pairs and forced them off. Unity Assault go down. Infantry DC coming in. Surprised not calling in uh, more Pianiti, or at least Venatori de Cata, or Venatori de Munta, excuse me. Pianity here could definitely push in. There's just a flamethrower passing out. He doesn't know that, but usually there's not a lot here because it's hard to get reinforcements into this position. Bredagon going to go down pretty quick to the double star Oxen Bucks. Centaur goes down, though, to the pack 38. Big kill there. There are only three of those to deal with. See some 60 mil mortars. Those are very strong as well. Mosquito recon coming in. There is AA. It's not like he doesn't have any AA there. But the 20 mils, of course, are 20 mils. But flying directly over them will cause issues. So Luna back on the 1410 because Xena has basically ignored this northern flank a bit. And I don't see any reinforcements coming. 60 more should definitely help tip the tides, tip the scales here in this fight. Does recapture this. Throws down smoke on the AA. I don't know if he's planning to go with another, another Tempest run. Bonatori de Munta, solid infantry. 
Again, nothing way out of line of usual. Uh, they do have two more men than a Panzergren squad, I guess. So they are a bit chunkier. But Panzergren's MG34, always a little underwhelming. He has recaptured this flag and now has captured this town flag. Gonna have a bit of an issue against the AB para flamethrower here. I think the Pathfinders also have a flame. Yeah, they do too. So the PN80 gonna get pretty definitively hit. Better run away. Yep, he is running now. Off map. Ugh, coming in. 203. I think you only get two strikes of this because it is over 200 millimeters of power. I never remember. I think it's 200. You only get two. That's going to absolutely basically bake the, break the back of Xena here. Off map is crap because there's nothing you can do about it and it's garbage. Mosquito Big Boomy coming in. Gonna hit that P-80. Oh, that's a big bomb loadout on that thing. 20 mils can do nothing to stop that. Here comes the off map. Absolutely just decimates three P-80 squads all at once. Devastating loss. Now he's on the run. I mean, there's nothing he can do about it. Off he goes. High skill play right here. And yes, I do continue to complain about it because I want everyone to hate it so much that they take it away out of the game completely or nerf it to the point where it is so absurd to bring it in that no one ever does. I mean, it's already super expensive. I want this to be 250 points. I want it to be all your income for like an entire phase. Yes, the perfect plan. 60 mil mortar, late though. I mean, he did pin down a lot of his own stuff. So... Gives Xena a little bit of breathing, but losing all of those flamer squads, devastating. Now the Tetrarch can poke out all of this stuff here. 75 mil coming in to try to save the day. He's doing quite well in the center. He did lose his little push into the town here. Looks like Gina focusing on the center right now. But of course now the south is crumbling. He's not going to get back in there anytime soon. Although, 6th Airborne, not exactly long-range strong, so he may be able to work his way back into this woods. We'll see. How many tri does it get? Just two. So, like, literally, this is all the AA there will ever be. The Tempest, though, is a pretty phenomenal fighter, so I understand the argument for only having two AA pieces, because, like, do you need more? Potentially, no. Venatori de Munta way out in the open there. Stripulse and getting hit by the Venatori, but that's going to go down instantly then to the Centaur. 60 mil mortars opening up. And the pinning has begun. He really should just put these on defensive fire and they'll just shoot at whatever. It's honestly the best way to use them. Pack 38 coming way out in the open. I'm not 100% sure why he's doing this. And the 203 going to come down again. Yay, off my... 20 mil. Going to go down here to the Tetrarch AB para combo. So loss of more AA, but we are now into B phase. So let's see if Gina can crush Luna in B phase because that's what he needs to do. 60 mil mortars doing some nice damage there. Killing off some infantry, pinning down more. Off map's going to basically do nothing other than pin some guys. Gina looking pretty down, though, in terms of units on the map. I mean, things should just pour in now. Ditsanuti coming in. Panzer IV, R-35s. Tetrarch did die, actually. Kind of shocking. I assume the 75 mil. Might be able to get back in there. The Benetori Chechachada coming in to spot and lay down support. 60 mil going after the 203, but again, I think you only get two strikes of it. So I think that's useless. Is this open top? It is, so it definitely could die to the 60 mils. Mosquito coming in up north. Needs to start bringing in some mobile wagons to stop these really powerful planes. Pack did die out in the open. I mean, I don't know why he was doing that in the first place. 81 mil mortar and 75 mil howitzer now in as well. I'm not sure what this mortar was going for exactly. I 
Predagon will definitely die to these AB Canadian pairs. They're very good with their flame Willy Pete. Transport goes down to the double sniper, so a little miss micro there by Luna. Just some odd pathing, I think. To Tanudu coming in. H is 129. Goes down to the Tempest. So much damage. Crit from the 20 mils, though. Do we see a mobile wagon? No. Do you see a commander? Interesting. So we saw very little leadership out of... I mean, we saw some leaders, but like he wasn't like dedicated trying to get those leaders out. Uh, and all of a sudden now, Xena going for a commander of all things. 20 mils is going to die to the Artie. There's a fair bit of Artie here. Enough to kill some 20 mils off, that's for sure. Venatori doing tons of damage here with their snipers. Getting pinned down, though, from the mortar here. Little John rolling in slowly. Just as AP, but it is 130 millimeters of penetration on that AP with 15 rounds a minute. Temp is going to finish off one of these two things. Yeah, oh my god, so much damage. Mobile Wagon finally in. Tempest is so freaking fast, though, that it's barely over top of it for a moment. Here goes Mosquito Combo here, Recon and Bomber. Six 113-kilogram bombs going to just absolutely decimate these Ditanuti. They are spreading out. Nice micro there from Gina to spread those out in time. One goes down. 15-man squad insta-kill. That's a lot of damage. And the AA is already just getting crushed. Needs a mobile wagon in the center. 100 mil coming in really far forward. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, I, I love the 100 mil, but it just shouldn't be that far forward. Doesn't even have a leader up on the hill here to take advantage of the commander bonus. I don't see any coming. Tempest is just absolutely devastating him. Finally dodges. Can the mobile wagon finally force the Tempest from the sky? Luna's going to do it himself. Is finally on its way out. It's actually damaged a bit, so... Might be a little long till it comes back. 12-12 currently. Five minutes remaining in B phase. I'm not sure if Gina's making enough progress yet. Venatori finally looks like it's going to get pinned down. And it does. Vicar's doing what it needs to do. Ditanuti coming up against the AB Paras. The AB Paras are definitely the better unit. But the chunkiness of the Ditanuti and the Molotov might be enough to just overwhelm. Especially the second Ditanuti going to help. The Paras were definitely winning that overall, I think. Mobile Wagons in. Lots of them. He needs more infantry on this hill, though. Like, he's just calling an armor right now. An armor's great, but he needs, like, something with some... Like, he needs some infantry. Panzer IV going after the Centaur killing. That would be phenomenal, but it's going to get away just in time. 60 mils on top of those little Johns. R35s. If, I mean, if he trades with them, that'd be great. He does not, though. The fast firing of that just so much. 100 mil going after the mortar now. It's a good choice. He definitely wants to counter batteries since 100 mils are really strong for that. Double Sniper and the 75 mil combo overwhelming this Vickers quite easily. Down it goes. He could definitely get back in here now. Trying to overwhelm these infantry here in the center. Needs, yeah, it needs like A up north as well. He does have four mobile wagons, so he could keep going. Should be able to kill off this six-pounder with his sniper. MG-34 spots the other sniper. Should be able to kill that off. Lost a lot of units here in the center, though. 60 mils now getting targeted, getting really easily killed. The problem with the 60 mil is it's light health. It's, like, really the only problem with it. For some reason now, he's going for the centaur with his arty. Not a huge fan of that. Should continue the arty counter battle. Currently at a 1311. Cromwell's now in. Maybe Para goes down. Six Pounder goes down. Venatori Recon dies. Mosquito somehow sees this Venatori Munta. Not 100% sure how. I mean, Gina making a nice push up here. Really needs to push this flag if he's going to continue this move. Finds the Centaur, gets a pen on that. 
needs to get his mobile wagon next to this this commander. What's the point of having it if you're not going to bump up your AA? Centaur actually went down to the 100 mil. Very nice. I think that's all of them. Cromwell already got a pen on the Panzer IV. Panzer IV misses. Does bounce the next shot from the Cromwell. Mosquito going to try to help out. Cromwell goes down. Centaur actually did survive. Panzer IV still sees it? No, it sees reinforcements coming in. Probably will miss. Yeah, suppression on there. MG34 going to try to do the job instead. And there's only two minutes left here of B phase and just tons of infantry pouring in for Luna. And this is how this guy does it. It just feels like things aren't going that bad. But when you actually look, Luna still has so many troops left and has lost so little. And part of it is, too, because he uses these divisions that you have tons of junky infantry and just cheap stuff. And Sick the Airborne, while its infantry can be a little inefficient at times, they are still overall cheaper than a lot of other divisions. Like 20 point AB Paris here. Six pounder really dropping the ball here. Nope, let's take out the Panzer IV. Nice kill there. Venatori should be able to finish that off. Six pounder does go down. Panzer IV takes out a Tetrarch successfully. Daimler should be able to pen that pretty easily. R35, oh, oh, gets the first shot off. Panzer IV doesn't see it. R35 tried to finish it off and failed. 100 mil now finally counter battering again. Definitely the right choice there. Can 100% win that. Detonuti tried pushing for the north. It was a nice play from Xena, but totally unsupported, and they just got overwhelmed. All these AB Canadian pairs have Willie Pete's. Uh, they are 25 points, a little less efficient, of course, with the Raider trait. I just don't find Detonuti to be fantastic. I think people rate them really highly, and I just don't actually think they're super strong. Just having rifles means you put out so little damage uh, you know, in a normal sense. Xena actually capturing his flag up north. He did finally make the push I was talking about here. Should be able to easily overwhelm that heavy machine gun. He needs another tank, though, to stop the armor coming in. Making good progress in the town. I mean, his Maverick income is overwhelming Luna right now. Can the leader go down? Nope, it's still alive. Do finally see a leader to actually help with that. Commander, mobile wagon going up on the hill. That's not a good idea at all. Leader finally goes down. His leader's pinned, though. It's standing in the middle of the road for some reason. Tons of mortars down south now trying to get involved. Military de Munta did get the flag now, but it's still only 1311. Because he lost the flag down south. Dutinuti getting easily overwhelmed here by the Canadian Paras. Even with the support of the snipers here. Again, they just, they just don't actually put out that much damage. They're basically just a Molotov thrower. You can see here because he's not throwing the Molotov, it's like not really doing anything at all. Just getting pinned. I just don't find them to actually be phenomenal. It's really the Pianiti that are strong. And, I mean, their assault squad's not amazing, but it's better than the average assault squad. Infantry have died in the center. And we're now into C phase solidly. And things will slowly here start to shift back, income-wise at least, into Luna's favor. I mean, Gina did capture two flags up north. And he did just finally shoot down a recon mosquito, but now he's losing this flag as well. Dignity completely dropping the ball here. One hundred mil doing a lot of work. Really, kind of wish he would have brought more of those. Looks like the Artie is going after the AA here, so he is moving that. Keep his commander alive. Good choice there, of course. Well, I can still take a big hit. If you pairs go down, Vinatori de Munta getting in there. It's still only 13-11. Like, he has really not overwhelmed Luna in any way. Luna showing his usual level of skill. Preventing, like, trading a lot better than it appears he is. Finally, we do have a 59, though, for Gina. But it's still, I mean, he had a long way to go. 13 minutes he has to go deep into the V for victory income. Uh, doesn't feel good. 
Tempest up north, no A up north still, so the Tempest can fly freely and just wipe out every infantry squad. Every support gun, every infantry squad is going to get just decimated by this Tempest. Unless it flies too far south, which it has this time, and gets a face full of mobile wagon. Cromwell's pouring in now. We should see challengers at some point too for this northern open area. Mosquito with even more firepower coming in, completely decimating that pack 38 in one run. Ouch. But Gina on a 16-8 now with the center hill in his grasp. Cromwells are in though. Panzer four is here, but two Cromwells will overwhelm that. The other Dittinuti losing, yeah, there's just, yeah, they're just not that great. Again, 4th Munta Division I just want to love so bad, but it, it just constantly disappoints. At least in my experience. I, it does have strengths, of course, but it feels like other divisions do similar things and just do them better. Panzer IV winning out hard against the Cromwells, actually. Bouncing a lot of shells. Which is actually kind of surprising. Usually the Cromwell pens a little bit more consistently against the Panzer IV. Yeah, both those Cromwell's going down. Piot misses. Oh, Piot, you poor thing. Now it is, he is suppressed and stuff too. Does land the second shot successfully, which will give this flag back to him, but still 59 for Gina on the double tick. A second 100 million, just like I said, really he should be doing because these things are just beyond phenomenal. Here comes a Mosquito. I, well, it's, it's going pretty... Yeah, it's going pretty shallow, so it might be able to get through. But triple mobile wagon, I really think he should uh, probably shift one of those up north, like, to help out. Mosquito goes down. Another nice plane kill, actually. These planes are expensive. Like, killing these off is, is not a small deal. SDK of Zed on a move over to here, which will actually save it from this 56-pounder. But it leaves the six pounder alive. That's not great. His northern position is totally disintegrated, though. Like, this 16 8 is a very thin 16 8. And I see no reinforcements coming there. He doesn't have that many points, so, you know, the reinforcements can only go to so many places, and he just continues to pour stuff onto this hill. Triple Star Panzer III should easily beat this Cromwell. Actually bounces and Cromwell goes down there. So the armor support doing a lot of work right now. Holding on to that 15-9 really hard. So good for Gina right now. But it the support weapons and everything really starting to build up here for Luna. He's finally made progress back up to his flag here. You now the Grenadiers Volt. Solid 20. I mean, it's expensive for 25 points because Bren guns are really underwhelming. He's going to leave a lot of units out in the open. I, I mean, he really needs to get his units in cover more. They're fighting completely out of cover, which is just getting them killed really fast. Six pound are going to kill off that Panzer IV. It'll be a nice kill there. Definitely need that to release the pressure from the armor. All the light artillery starting to get really overwhelming. 100 mil is finally responding again. They need to. He needs to kill some of this off really bad. I would not split the fire, though. I would focus down one at a time. Immediately falling back. Didn't even wait. Luna wants nothing to do with that. He knows the 100 mils are just better than his units. Surprised he hasn't tried to counter battery himself at all. Because those things are really close. Like, you could very easily counter-battery that. Nope, they're now out of range. Minotauri getting overwhelmed because of the arty support. Down he goes, and now we're all the way back to a 12-12. Yeah, two flags here. Big loss really hurt. These IARs are really underwhelming with just some 250 kilogram bombs. They do so little damage. Yeah, it's just, they're always really disappointing. 
Tempest gets a run in on one. The other one's already running away. Of course, no mobile wagon down here. Oh, this Tempest will catch it. It's so much freaking faster than the IAR. Yeah, down it'll go. Boom. And he actually brought another one in while the Tempest was still in the sky. Not a good idea there. Six pounder that survived just killed a transport. Tempest now free to do whatever they want. And they could easily... I mean, the mobile wagon would stop if he went after the Artie, but I could see a really ballsy play going after that Artie. I see games that are going to die to the Cromwell. Tempest smoking. This Tempest is going to be in a little trouble when it hits these mobile wagons again. Basically, already holding off these AB pairs right now. Has recaptured this, so back to a 13 line, but it's still 18 minutes with this massive income deficit. I mean, Luna is well past the tipping point, so like he now has more income than uh, Xena. Cromwell takes out that SDK. It was that big loss there. It was that really that armor just kind of holding things up for him. He needs to try to get back into here, but with the six pounder, until he gets rid of that, he's not going to really be able to. Already going after the Panzer IV. Now Luna feels comfortable enough to turn his artillery against a less efficient target, which is the armor. Certainly can kill it. But if Gina's watching, then he could easily move it. But he hasn't, so it's going to die right now. Mm, yeah, yeah, there's a lot coming down. It, not lasting long. He's now moving, but it's been way too long. Uh, nope, the artillery had to restart. Cromwell 5, big dogs now down he up here. Counter battery starting over again. 175 down, so we do have some success in the counter battery department. There's still a lot, though. There's two more howitzers down here with mortars as well. I mean, Artie's been absolutely key here for Luna. Seventy-five mil got moved out of its good position over to here for some reason. So now it can't help cover at all. Minotauri Chachatari finally in to help get some troops in. Six pounder to go down, so he definitely needs now to work to get some infantry back into this flag. He could have a whole lot more flags. Detonuti is standing out in the open again. Like, absolutely no cover for them whatsoever. Panzer IV did go down. Mobile wagon moving over to support. The Cromwell's here, though. Like, that's really ballsy play. And here comes that zippy Cromwell. Mobile wagon moving to try to get out of range. I don't know if it deserves to after this super aggressive play. Gets one pen. Does get out of range now. I don't see any other Panzer IVs coming. Still no AA up north. I mean, I, I feel at this point like he definitely should have one more mobile wagon. Oh, wait, no, he brought... No, I think he shifted the southern one up. Yeah, Tempest is going to wipe out his, his northern units here. BF-109G2, a laughable contender against these Tempests. I mean, if he can kill the Mosquito here, it's 100% worth. I mean, that's an expensive buy for him at this point. There you go. Mosquito does go down, so we do have something there. Now we're seeing the 381 mil off map coming in. That is, that's one deadly piece of off map there. Tempest is going to easily kill that BF-109. Yep, down it goes. Though if they, he takes the Tempest, that would be huge. I don't think he is. Well, maybe. I don't know. Wow, he actually got the Tempest. Nice kill there. Those things were really hurting him. I think he killed both now. A mobile wagon hunting pack succeeded. One of the howitzers down. These 100 mils need to keep firing. I mean, they are, like, holding him together right now. These RDPs are so freaking good. Now I can move these guys back up. Needs more double snipers, honestly. He should just be spamming those. They're so stupidly good. Boom. Boom. Big stupid booms. Oh, my God. Absolutely nothing you can do. Welcome to death for nothing. Big gap in points here. 17 minutes remaining, though. Xena appears to be collapsing a bit. 
That off map absolutely broke his back here in the town. Finally lost this flag as well. Counter battery finally coming down here. Yeah, Luna really tight, and the howitzer goes down immediately. His ammo way too close to his RDPs, guys. Do not put your ammo next to your artillery. I mean, like, right next to it, because that happens. Blows up, and your unit dies from the explosion of the ammo. Howitzer taking another big hit. These 100 mils, my god, they're so good. One of the secret best Romanian units. These 100 mil already pieces right here. You get them in this division. You get them in 6th Corporal. And I think, uh, yes, and in 8th Cav. Not 5th Cav, though. And not uh, Blindata, I don't think. Just in those three. But they are phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Accurate, fast firing, very deadly. ATP is about to go down. Venatori de Munta coming in to try to staunch the bleeding. But we're now 1311 on Luna. Another 381. I think he has three of those off maps. Yeah. Yeah, he has three on his card, I think. He only gets two on each one. But, I mean, he's got tons of extra points at this point. So we're going to just keep seeing those roll back. Roll back the you know, piles of Grenadiers coming in. He's already took a massive hit, though, there. That counter battery strike. Minotauri Dakota here, though, for the bazooka strike. Boom! Takes down the Cromwell big kill there. Not sure where that Artie's going. It looks like he's now trying to, like, shoot down singular squads. But now the advantage really is starting to get overwhelming here for Luna. Like, there's nothing up north here. Artillery back online after that massive hit. Here comes the Grenadier piles. Well, it's already in a nice spot here to cut off those reinforcements. There's just so many of them, though. Like, there's just a lot. Yes, but it's already going to go down. Panther IV, though, arrives just in time to stop the infantry. Dittanuti and Canadian Paris trade. With the help of the Cromwell, get pinned immediately and go down. And now Luna's on a 16-8. And the collapsing line finally shows. Just troops all over the map now. And Luna now in a pretty commanding position. I mean, Xena really tried. I gotta give him credit. I actually thought he was out by the end of B phase, but he really actually did a ton of work while being down points. Like, the last 10-ish uh, minutes, I almost feel like he was playing his best the whole game. It felt like his worst time was actually when he had the most points. I just feel like that's my issue with playing Maverick or something. Like, you get all those points... But you get them in such a, a concentrated time frame that if you're just not constantly pouring out troops to the right spots at the right times, it ends up being wasted income. Of course, for good players, that's not a problem. But for poopy players, such as myself, it is. Pack 38 going to go down to these infantry now. Tempest has arrived again. How many of these does he have? I guess three. Mobile wagons are still around, but they're in a bad spot here. They could get taken out by the Cromwells. Tempest forced off. Could go down. It goes down. Double star mobile wagons. Look at them go. Challenger in now with its 17 pounder. Misses the Panzer IV. Panzer IV misses as well. It is two star though. Will that Panzer IV get the shot off? It looks like we're going to trade him. And we do, and that's so much worse for Xena at this point. Howitzer Mortars back online, blasting away again. 100 mils really should go back to the counter battery. I know it doesn't feel like he's made progress, but I mean, he really has. We know it. Of course he doesn't.
And his northern flank continues to go. There's actually nothing more for Luna to capture up north. I mean, he's just pushing forward to push forward now. But it's already pushing really deep anyway. Actually getting all the way up to capture that flat. Lots of Kromos, though. SDKFZ supporting successfully for now. The Kromo just needs to pop out and kill it, though. And it is going to do just that. The SDKFZ probably needs to be something more like here. Misses because it's moving, but there's no AT here to kill, pop that Cromwell 5. Usually you have some sort of AT gun right here that can cover this open area. But we don't see that here. Back to a 15-9. Gotta respect Gina for holding on. But the tables seem pretty turned against him now. I'm not sure how he pulls himself out of this. North is gone. He's lost it. More Tempest? What? Am I missing a card? No, I just feel like they've died already. And they just keep coming. Something else must have died, I guess. I think some mosquitoes I'm misremembering. Check this plane out. Not many divisions have this, but it is very powerful. Tetrarch goes down from a range with the Panzer IV. Titanuti here probably going to get overwhelmed eventually, especially with the arty support. 100 mils currently silent. I think they're out of ammo. No, they still have some. Tempest fly a little too close to the mobile wagon party. This one probably will go down, I would think. Flying right over this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That That's dead. So maybe that's all the Tempest now. Who knows? But the Grenadier is about to overwhelm the Ditsunuchi here. MG34 doing its best to solo this. Now the Grenadier is going to overwhelm these Ditsunuchi with the help of the Arty. Down it goes. Immediate going to surrender, I'd assume. 16-8 now. Arty coming down on the mobile wagons. And if we're making a good push through here. 17-7 now for Luna. Pack 38 leaves this APCR on, which it absolutely does not need to kill this stuff. Off map now coming down to try to seal the deal. And Gina finally throws in the towel there. 40 minutes and 26 seconds. 39.85 to 34.95. Actually, not a huge difference in deaths, honestly. KD's not a massive difference. Unfortunately, I can't see the stats on these players. I'd love to know. Because uh, I don't remember ever seeing Xena in anything. I mean, maybe it's a changed name, but it's hard to say these days. People change their names all the time, which is super annoying in my opinion. Extremely super annoying. I wish they wouldn't let you do it all the time. 100 Mills did a nice job there on the RD. But yeah, I mean, Luna doing what Luna does. Playing pretty fantastically and pull pulling it out. If you guys enjoyed that, hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting over on Patreon. Thanks a bunch, and have a fantastic day.